I am Adil Kumar. Here is a question on earthquake based on today's happenings. January 23rd, 2018. Today, a major earthquake struck Alaska. It measured 7.9 on the Richter scale. Now, I've created a question based on this. Since the tsunami warning has been removed from Canada and US. The question is, what is the magnitude of an earthquake three times as intense as Alaska's earthquake? So you need to find magnitude of an earthquake which is three times as intense as 7.9 which happened today in Alaska. That's the first question and based on this we'll have another question related to today's earthquake. So let's first solve this question. The magnitude of an earthquake, m, is related with logarithmic function. It could be written as log of intensity of the earthquake divided by a standard intensity, i0. Now, for today's earthquake, the scale measured 7.9, so we can write 7.9 is equals to log of i over I is zero, correct. Now the question here is, what is the magnitude of the earthquake three times as intense? So we want to find magnitude of an uh, earthquake. So we want to find the magnitude. This is what we need to find, which is three times as intense as this earthquake. That means the the intensity I which we want to find is actually three times the intensity which Alaska's earthquake had. So we could write this as three times I over I zero, right? Now, applying the logarithmic rules, I could write this as log of three plus log of I over I zero, correct? Now we can use the calculator to find log of 3 and then add uh, log of i over i0 which is 7.9, correct? So, so we could write this as log of 3 plus 7.9. So let's use the calculator to do the calculations. So we'll take log which is base to the 10 plus 7.9 is equal to 8.377, right? So it is equal to 8.377. So an earthquake which is three times as intense as today's earthquake will be 8.377, correct? So that is what it will measure on Richter scale. So let's see what happened in past. So I have another question based on this. In past, Alaska had massive earthquake which measured 9.2. So, so we have another question based on this. I'd like you to solve this question. So it is again based on the information which we got today morning. Now the question here is, on March 27, 1964, Alaska was hit by an earthquake which measured 9.2. 9.2. How many times more intense was that earthquake as compared to January 2018? That is today's earthquake. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay. So, so what we can do here is will work with the same equation which was uh, magnitude of an earthquake is given as logarithmic relation intensity over some standard intensity right so let's say magnitude one now it could be rearranged log to the base 10 we could write this as 10 to the power of m1 equals to i1 over i0 and that gives us a relation that the intensity can be written as initial the standard intensity times 10 to the power of m1 correct now 
in our case we want to find how many times more intense was that earthquake which was measuring 9.2 so what we will say is let this m1 be 9.2 and we know m2 which is 7.9 and we are comparing their intensity now how many times correct so basically we can say i1 over i2 will be equal to using the same formula i0 10 to the power of m1 divided by i0 10 to the power of m2 now i0 i0 cancel and so we have 10 to the power of m1 minus m2 exponential loss right same base so when you divide the exponents need to be subtracted so now we know these two numbers it is 10 to the power of 9.2 take away 7.9 and that is how much let's use the calculator once again to figure this out okay so it is 10 to the power of within brackets we'll write 9.2 take away 7.9 and uh, i didn't write 7.9 okay bracket close and that is equal to 19.95 so it is almost 20 times do you understand so the earthquake which we had which is kind of a record for alaska was 20 times as intense so that was 20 times as intense right so i hope with this you get some idea about richter scale 9.2 7.9 makes 20 times difference it's a huge scale and i hope you appreciate it feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe that'll be great thanks and all the best